We have a new play-by-play broadcaster for our Atlanta Braves television broadcast on Bally Sports South and Bally Sports Southeast. It's Dukes and Bell, and he is in studio with us. Uh, You may be familiar with the name. You may have seen him. He does a variety of things. Brandon Gauden. He's joining us now, and uh, first and foremost, congratulations. We've been chopping it up in the studio. I got to tell you guys, Braves fans, this guy, he's big smile. Yeah. He is super <laughs> excited about this chance to call Braves games, which gets us to your background. For those who don't know you and, and maybe haven't seen your work, uh, he was a play-by-play guy for Georgia Tech for many years. Tell people how and, and why you love the Braves and why this is kind of a dream job for yeah, you. Yeah, and when I took the tech job and I moved down here, really the big attraction to Atlanta was the fact that I grew up dreaming about being a Braves announcer. So I grew up in southern Indiana, but I had an aunt and uncle who lived here. And in 1991, we came down, my family and I, to Game 5 of the World Series. Braves won 14-5 to over the Twins that night. I can remember walking into old Fulton County Stadium like it was yesterday. Mm. I remember the roar of the crowd when Mark Lemke tripled in the seventh to open it up <laughs> 10-3. to And I remember having a foam tomahawk that I was waving out the window of my uncle's car on the drive home. And from that night on, truly, I just fell in love with the Braves. I fell in love with baseball. And then through watching the Braves on the Superstation through the 90s, just like a lot of other kids, I fell in love with broadcasting. It was Skip Carey, it was Don Sutton, Joe Simpson, Pete Van Weren, and those were my idols. And I would play in the foyer of my home in Evansville every day, acting like I was a Braves and acting like I was Skip Carey announcing the game. So to say today that is a, a dream come true long fulfilled is an understatement. <laughs> that is awesome. It's so much fun to meet folks. If you wear a Braves cap and you're on the West Coast or in Vegas or something, you see somebody and they have got that same connection to the Superstation. And I loved, we loved Skip Carey because first off, love the dry sense of humor. <laughs> I mean, they, there's a website that posts some of the old videos on Twitter, which is hysterical. So yeah, and you're, you're coming into a really great time to be a Braves fan. Oh, yeah. How excited is this for you? I mean, the, the run they're on right uh, now. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's like five straight NLEs titles. Obviously, the World Series two years ago, and I think what Alex Anthopoulos and Derek Schiller and everybody's building there is just pretty impressive. The guys that are signed to long-term deals. So selfishly right now, it is a great time to step in this chair. What I told him during the interview process, because we discuss, hey, what if there's a season where things aren't so great, you know, five years down the road and the Braves are 10 games under 500 and 10 out of first place. And what I told them is, look, that's that's my job to still bring the passion and energy. And you can't always wear rose-colored glasses because the fans are going to know when things aren't good. They're not stupid. Um, but it's my job to portray this uh, franchise in a positive light and represent the team as best as I can, and I can't wait to do that. Brandon Gauden in studio with us, guys. It's Dukes and Bell. Um, as we said, he's done a lot of different things. To me, all right, and the Braves' job is cool. <laughs> but when you are in millions of homes and people don't even know that, like, that's you – it's kind of cool. Like, you yeah. could be in the airport and be like, hey, you play Madden? And the kid's like, yeah, I play Madden. I'm the guy on Madden. That is really cool. Yeah, it's been a blessing to be able to do that. I've been able to be on the game since 2017. And Charles Davis, who's the CBS analyst, is the guy that does it with me. And we become good friends through the process. But that's one of those jobs. People always say, oh, is it like calling a game? And it's totally different. Calling a game, you are reacting to what you're seeing, right? When we do the Madden lines, you are in a studio. You're basically like a singer, although I can't sing. But you got a producer and a director on one side of the glass. You're on the other side of the glass. And you guys have read a ton of scripts. You're just reading a script. And sometimes it's like you're reading a phone book over and over and over. Because you have so, to do it for every team. Every so team, it's second every and two, player. Second yeah. and three. It's second, second and three. And four. Second and four. <laughs> yeah. Brady back to pass. Brady right. throws to the right. Brady over the middle. <laughs> and so sometimes people will hear me on Madden mm-hmm. and they'll say, huh, you sound more like a robot. Your lines are really repetitive. I'm like, well, <laughs> it's it's different than a real game. Uh, but it, in all what, seriousness. What's my motivation? It's third and ten. Right. You know I mean? But in all seriousness, yeah. it's been an incredibly cool gig. I mean, something, I look at the guys who did it before me, and they're just icons. So to be able to have the opportunity to do that has been really cool. Uh, but it is totally different from actually sitting in a booth in a stadium and calling a game. How much fun do you have doing the Big Ten? Because Big Ten basketball is still pretty darn good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm originally from Indiana. So, like, I feel and, – and Big Ten Network and Fox has been great with me through this process. They knew about this Braves opportunity the last couple of weeks. And they're going to let me, when the when it's the off season for the Braves, to continue doing games for them for the NFL and for college basketball. So to have the roots kind of both where I'm from, doing Big Ten hoops back home, but then really where my heart is here in Atlanta with Braves baseball now, it's like the best of both worlds. 
Yeah, yeah. that's that's and you're fortunate because mm-hmm. you know sometimes they make you give up these jobs. Yeah, <laughs> and, I've uh, heard rumors. Yeah, heard and, and so right. that's really cool, guys. We're talking to the uh, new play-by-play announcer for the Atlanta Braves telecast on Valley Sports South and Valley Sports South East. Um, are you going to make your way down to Northport and have a chance to be down there with the Braves this spring? Yeah, actually, my, the first call that I received was from Jeff Francoeur, and Frenchie called, and he actually, I didn't have his number on my phone, and I answered it, and he didn't even introduce himself. He just goes, oh, boy, you better get used to this voice, and I said, I know exactly who that is. I've heard you a lot. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, we don't broadcast any games on Bally's for the preseason until – the 23rd of March, I think, is our first spring training game. We do four of them. So we're going to head down there. I've got to finish basketball. I've got the first couple rounds of the NCAA tournament, and that ends for me on the 19th, and then I'll go down there, get a few days, boots on the ground, meet the team, meet the staff. Because really, look, this, especially baseball more so than the other sports, it's about relationships. I mean, when you're calling 162 games, you really need to know the team, the players, share the stories with the fan bases. So I want to get down there and be able to do that before we have a telecast. It is Brandon Gauden with us, guys, live in studio. He is the newest Carl Mention play-by-play voice, and as we said, we just we have a great, great relationship with uh, everybody, Paul Bird and Moylan and Frenchie and yep. Brian. It just seems like it's a really collegial vibe right now at the, at the network. Yeah, and you know, Brian Jordan, I haven't had the chance to talk with him. I've met him. He wouldn't remember meeting me when I first moved to town. We played in a golf scramble together. But did, I, did he, did he a, take your money? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was as he, bad as I was. It's happened. Okay. Uh, but I will tell Brian this story, but I haven't yet, and I, nobody knows this story except my immediate family. Uh, when I was 14 years old and the Braves were playing down here, or they were down in for spring training in Florida, I flew into the Orlando airport. I'm with my grandfather, and I see Brian Jordan. And I was a big Brian Jordan right. fan playing for the Braves at the time. But I was too scared to go up to him. But my grandfather said, no, 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 you're the biggest Braves fan there is. We're going to meet Brian Jordan. So I got a piece of paper and a pen for him to sign. And I remember going over to Brian Jordan, and my grandfather said, Mr. Jordan, I want you to meet my grandson. Someday he's going to be the TV play-by-play voice of the Atlanta no Braves. Way. And uh wow. And, I, I mean, that's, that's one of the – and the day that I got the call that I would be doing this job was my grandfather's birthday. Wow. He's, he's since passed, uh, but he meant the world to me, and that was a special moment when that call came thinking about that memory with he and Brian Jordan, and now you fast forward all these years later, and here we are. Right. So. It's uh, what a great time to be doing it. Also, in the game, it's funny. We were just talking yesterday about the rule changes with baseball. So you step into the broadcast with maybe things picking up yeah. the pace. Yeah. So you don't have to fill as much <laughs> as one used to in baseball. You know, but there will be a different cadence to that mm-hmm. of, of just sometimes you feel like you got so much time in between a pitch, and now you may have five, six seconds less, which seems like, oh, that's not much time. But over the course of a game, yeah. I mean, base minor leagues, it shortened these games by 22 minutes. Right. So I don't know that it's going to have that big of an impact first year at the major league level with the pitch counts. Um, but I think that it, it's – look, the purists, we get it. They're they're angry. They're not sure about this. The bigger bases, what's it? Oh, there's not 90 feet in between the bases. And I get all that. I'm, I'm an old-school baseball fan myself. Yeah. But they address – to me, they're addressing or at least trying to address the need of trying to get more fans back in on TV – in the in the stadiums, and I think this is a good way to do that. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Um, catchphrases? Do you, ha- <laughs> do you, do you so, have any? No, somebody else asked me that. Uh, yeah. You know, and and I really think those happen have to happen organically, especially when you're with a team. Like if you're doing a national broadcast and you have something that you go back to once or twice, that's fine. But I think over time with Frenchie and I and the rest of the guys, you know, nicknames will develop, fun things will develop. I'm mm-hmm. sure catchphrases within the Braves will will d- develop, and I'm going to let those happen organically. But I'd be lying if I sat here and told you that I've got things up my sleeve. I don't I don't want right. to prepare anything or have a something corny to, for for Freed or anybody else. I'll just we'll see what happens as the season progresses. Acuna! Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I was going to say Brandon Gunn's with us. I mean, he's going to go full Brock Meyer on us. You know, it's a long fly ball. To right there's a Rocky Mountain yeah. refreshment right there. Yeah, I mean, obviously, product placement is key, but I mean, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, and it's, again, you're living in Buckhead, you know, don't put your business out there, but to be close to the ballpark yep, and everything and still yep. able to do all the other things, and you'll be able to do, I guess, so baseball comes first, so you'll still yep. be doing baseball in September. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, look, when I took this job, I told them, they said, well, you got this other stuff going on with Fox and Big Ten Network and Madden. How do, how do we fit into the picture? And I, I told them, no, 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 the Braves is the epicenter of what I'm doing. Like, if I take this job and you guys want me here, 
this is number one, and that then that's going right. to be the truth. The other stuff will fit in around the Braves, and I've been here since 2013 in Atlanta, so mm-hmm. this is home. Cool. This is home. Well, we are happy to have you. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Um, I know it's a big deal, man, and, and like I said, it, it, your heart – it's going to be going. Gonna, oh, yeah. It's going to oh, yeah. be going. That but in first a good game. way. But no, in a good way. It's, it's great, good man. Way. Congratulations on all the success. Appreciate and for it. those, again, who don't know, next time you play Madden, this is the voice. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and guys, you're hitting us up on the text line saying, that's my guy from Madden. So get on it, guys. And you can also follow Brandon on Twitter and say hello. Yeah. I just don't like it when you go third and long. I'm like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> hey, blame the writer, Ed Brady. I'm just reading the line. I'm just long, reading the line. How long does it take from start to finish to do yeah. the whole Madden? How long? Yeah, well, the number of hours are. All told is we couldn't even count them, but we do about four hours a week on the game. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, that's a lot. Of stuff. It's a yeah. lot. All yeah. right, yeah. man. Congratulations. Stop Thanks, by Dallas. anytime, man. Appreciate All right. it. We, we hope to me. get you on as the season rolls along. Yep. Talking Braves baseball. We're going to have a great club, guys. And again, those four games are in March that you'll yes. be calling. End of March, starting the cool. 23rd. Jeff Francor and I will be on the first call that day for Bally's. Make sure yep. you guys check it out. All right. Good stuff, man.